Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to play with these magnetic eyelashes and I'm going to try to show you how to use these and really kind of enjoy them. So I have gone back and repurchased, well I've used two of these for a little bit. I'm trying to see which two I've used. Um, these ones so far are my favorite and so these are the accents 001 i think these are like what everyone needs these are the easiest to use the next ones i had already purchased and used a lot are these double wispies these are not easy to put on but i'm going to show you how so i went ahead and bought another set these double wispies or excuse me not double wispies these accents that I said everyone needs, the 001, like I've used the heck out of the 001. In fact, now they're just kind of a, a mess because I've used them so many times. Um, they're fantastic. I can't get enough of these. So these are probably going to be my everyday go-to all the time. And then I wanted to try kind of the double 110. And then there is the double Demi Wispies. And I have a feeling that we're gonna have to do the same thing with these two that I had to do with this one to make them work. So anyways, I just wanted to show you we're gonna be playing with four different sets today and hopefully give you guys some inspiration on how to use these so that you feel comfortable and confident. Um, again, the accent ones are the ones to go for, but we're still gonna play with the other ones. So get prepared to laugh, especially on the other ones. These ones are easy. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna start with the hard ones first. For some reason, one of my eyes, I have a horrible time putting these on. The other eye goes on really easy. I'm not sure why. But the double wispies, so this is what most people put on just normal. So when you add two layers, holy crud, like these are kinda really totally off the hook when you try to apply these as far as thickness goes. So they give you an upper and they give you a lower. So let me try to get them in the right spots. So for me, I have a hard time using these because they're so long and they've got a ton of little magnets in it. And from what I'm seeing online is the, the reason why these tend to give everyone fits is because they are so long. So if you don't get them, and by the way, my right eye is the one that I hate it hates me. So, you know, you can kind of pop it in there, but then when you go to put the bottom layer on, yeah, it just, it, it's, it's really, these are really hard and they're really frustrating. So if you don't have a whole lot of time to play with them, these are not gonna be your favorites. The other thing that you can use that I find that helps a little bit is taking a set of tweezers, kinda of like this, going and kinda of on the edge. If you get your tweezers too close to the magnets, oh my God, it hooks onto the magnets and it pulls. So again, these are, these are a little harder Yeah, I mean, I got a hot mess going on right now. So anyways, I got tired of trying these. And so I, I went online to find out what are other people doing with these things. And I saw one lady take these and cut them in half. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut these in half. Just like that. So by cutting them in half, it does make them a little bit easier to put on because you're dealing with less magnets over a smaller space. So I do like that. But I will, I'll give you a hint and a little bit of what I did wrong. And if you go look at, I don't know if the video is out yet, you can really see what I did wrong when I cut them in half. But you don't know until you try. You don't know until you try. So again, I'm gonna place the half piece where I think I, I want it. Kinda hold, I like to, well, 
talking and putting these on are not easy. So once you get it where you want it, you can kind of hold it in place with your finger. Then you use your bit on, I almost said a Q-tip, on your tweezers. And see how much easier that went on? It popped right on. And it's because you're using a much smaller space. These other ones that have like 16 magnets, it's not 16 by the way, just a little bit of exaggeration. Um, those are just harder because you can't get all the magnets to line up just perfect. And everyone's eye shape is so different. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did wrong when I cut these in half in another video. And I saw it and it always makes me laugh, but that's okay. I still put out the videos that I do stupid stuff on. Is I had the eye piece a little bit too far back here. So I had what looked like, what was that? Star Trek? It was like the Star Trek thing. So what you want to do is when you cut these in half, go ahead and, and get it close to your other piece, your other one. So they're almost overlapping. Then you'll take your second little piece and pop that right on. So now you have a really full eyelash. But again, it's all in cutting it in half because as you guys saw, and you know, trying to do it with a full eye is just too difficult. So cut those babies in half and you can see, especially when you get them really close where you're not doing the, hold on a second, the Star Trek look, which if you're in a Star Trek eye, eyelashes, you know, hey, more power to you. But <laughs> go ahead and get those closer because I wasn't trying to go for the Star Trek look. But again, look at how pretty and thick that those are. Oh my gosh, absolutely amazing. So this one that we used today were the double wispies. And my right eye, again, is the hardest one for me to get to put on. So I'm, I'm just using the right eye at this point. All right, so when you go to take them off, it's really easy. You just kind of um, move your fingers kind of back and forth and it will pop those off for you. And because you've already got mascara on, they will adhere. But yeah, cutting them in half, what a big difference. So I placed those back in its little tray. And we are gonna go ahead and try a second one because I wanted to try all four to really give kind of a good just you know kind of what is this like it's, I feel like this is a science project this is a science project all right so let's check out these next ones these next ones are the double demi wispies so these are going to be a little more angled towards the inner part of your eye and because once again, these have four magnets. I mean, I can go ahead and try, I, I didn't try these. So let's try these with the four magnets and see if I'm any luckier without having to cut them in half. Maybe the Demi piece will make it easier. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm not hopeful though. I'm not hopeful. Oh, I wasn't hopeful. It did go on easier, but it didn't get like right close to my eyelash. So it kind of comes away. Again, I don't think these long ones really, there's not... I don't know. Maybe it's just because every woman's eye shape is different. I just don't think these are for every woman with them at this size. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these in half again. Oops. 
All right. So we cut those bad boys in half. I'm going to start on the inner side and work my way out because working with two magnets so much easier than working with four. Okay, that grab there. And these two have stuck together. So again, you can just kind of move your fingers like this and they'll come apart. Again, remember we want to get it really close to the last one. And it'd help if I used my little tweezers. So using the tweezers made a huge difference also, I'll be honest. So I almost want to get to where I'm overlapping. Yeah, the tweezers made a huge, huge difference because I think it's because I can see my dang eye. And there we go. So again, popping these on after you cut them in half, what a huge, huge difference. And they're so pretty. The one thing that I do like about these is I went out dancing and um, I had no issues whatsoever. So my hair and makeup did not stand up to dancing as well as the lashes did. So that was real exciting. So the, the ones that I just put on y'all were the double demi. Now we're going to go with the double 110. These seem to be a little more sparse. So the last two are like overly thick. I mean, yeah, your eyelashes are off the hook thick because again, you've got two rows not just one. So I picked these ones up because I was hoping, now don't get me wrong, I really like that thick, thick look, but I wanted something a little more thin for maybe the work day at night. You know, it's fine to do a really thick look. Um, even during the day, I probably would still do a thick look, but not every day. Cause like, you know, I like to, I like to mix it up. So I'm putting these two together real quick. Once again, looking towards kind of the middle. I think these could be fun for every day also. Yeah, these definitely look not as like overly bushy as the last ones. Again, I'm getting it really close to that la that other one, so I don't look like I'm doing Star Trek. It's even okay to overlap a little bit. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Okay, these might be my new favorites. I like how they just thicken up my eye a bit without being overpowering. So these ones are the double 110. Now just because they're my favorite doesn't mean they're your favorite, I understand. But dang, these are gorgeous. Okay, I'll be wearing these tomorrow to work. Mm -hmm, that's right. So yeah, they just really pop off easy. And the fact that they have no glue just tickles me because the glue for me, I, I've tried latex, I've tried non-latex, I've tried, I don't think it's organic, that's going over the top, but I've tried several different um, 
glue that is supposed to even be for sensitive eyes. No, mm -mm. it hates me. So I can only do false eyelashes on occasion and it really, it bums me out because I do like wearing false eyelashes. I haven't gone and tried where they go, you know, they add them to you at a salon. I think the reason why is I've seen, you know, I don't know, I've seen people as they start shedding and I'm not real impressed with what they look like when they start shedding. And for me, it's hard enough to get in, you know, to get my hair colored on time. So the last thing I need is eyelashes that start shedding and I can't get back to put in the little bits that have fallen out. I, I mean, I love the way they look, but I think that's just too much for me. Okay, so now we're going to get into the accents and these are my favorites. So the accents, you, you know, I don't have to cut, which is fantastic. And I love the fact that I don't have to cut the accents. These actually have three magnets, not four, but three. But the three are still very easy to use. I think that fourth magnet just makes the, the wispies just too hard to use. Three magnets, fine. In fact, I almost wish they would put a magnet, because the three is easier to use, put a magnet on each of the other ones on either side and then one in the middle. I think if they did that, Ardell, if you're listening, it might be much easier because using, again, the three magnets is just, just much easier. All right, so... The re and, and I think that's why I've gravitated to these ones so much. So these are the accents. And I love the fluttery ends. Almost very cat-ish. Meow. And as you can see, it just gives a nice flick off to the edge. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I do really love these accents. And again, as you can see, they're easy to put on. So because my left eye is easy, I went, I'm going to go ahead and um, do the left eye since I didn't do the left eye on the others. For whatever reason, like I said, the left eye doesn't give me as much fit as my right eye so it's just you know for the the sake of do doing this video i wanted to show you guys the harder eye so that you can see they're not that difficult to use i say that and all of a sudden my left eye is being difficult to use my fingers are sticky Yeah, these are making a liar out of me. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the end of the video using all four of the magnetic accents. This is in the 001. So, Again, I like how they, they kind of just really flare out on the sides and they're super easy to put on. So if you are just going to put your toe into using the magnetic accents uh, or the magnetic eyelashes from Ardell, what I would say is go ahead and practice with these first or if you're going to go with one of the other types is go ahead and cut those in half because it makes a world of difference. Again, wearing these, they're really lightweight, so you don't feel them. They come off super easy. The other thing is you can wear them over and over again. So one of the things that when I, I am done using them, for instance, what I like to do is now it's more on these accent ones than it is the others because the others you've cut in half and there's not a whole lot of width to either of them when you cut in half, but these, because they kind of go the whole way, what 
I typically do is I will take these and to give to keep it in a good shape I will put the two ends together and kind of pull them apart a little bit in the middle so it almost makes it's just it's almost like it's got a little eye on the inside and then that helps keep the shape while you have them in the box so anyways I wanted to show you all that so if you've tried the Ardell magnetic lashes how did you like them is it something that you absolutely love or, or were you intimidated? Have you not tried them because you're intimidated? I'm really interested in hearing. Um, there is other brands out there before Ardell came out. And one of the, the brands is the One Two Lashes. I had purchased those and they are very similar as far as the, mat the magnets. Now these only have basically one larger magnet on the inner piece and nothing on the edges so what you know I tracked these for a while and you know I kind of liked them but the problem is with only having kind of that one magnet it's very straight so if you have a straight eye these might be good for you for me my eye is very curved my husband says they look like cupid dolls so because mine are curved these eyelashes being flat on a very curved eye just looked ridiculous and to be honest with you the price of these are ridiculous so the fact that Ardell came out with something that is probably a fifth a seventh now nah, a sixth of the price and they actually work versus these that are flat I mean hands down I, I've got to give Ardell props but then again I love Ardell lashes anyways I use when I use glue on a false lash it's usually an Ardell lash like nine times out of ten because I love Ardell's lashes so anyways ladies I hope this gives you an opportunity to feel more comfortable using the magnetic lashes they're I think thirteen dollars a piece but you get to wear them multiple times which means you know as many times as you can wear these magnetic lashes they're really inexpensive overall Plus, you don't have the mess of glue. Who is not going to miss the mess of glue? Me. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.